this team needs a re-imaging, right? They need a re-imaging. They don't just need a new coach. They need a re-imaging. You cannot, and this is why I don't get the, the, the injury excuses and all of this stuff. There's two, two of your starting offensive linemen are out, right? The Chargers went straight, dropped back almost every single play. In any time they didn't run the ball, they went straight, dropped back every single play. Why? Why? Why are you calling the game like your line, like your 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 starting offensive line is playing when they're not? Why? Like it doesn't make sense. None of this makes sense. This is all coaching, right? So you put Herbert in bad positions and you tell him, even though you're in a bad position, we still need you to make heroic plays. Right. And he does it a lot of the time. And that's the crazy part about it. If he didn't do it a lot of the time, I think Staley would have already been gone, to be honest with you. But Herbert does it. A lot of the times he comes out and he saves everybody. He saves people's asses. And that's what he does. But if you're going to have injuries, you must adjust. And if you're not adjusting, then you're losing. And this is what's going on here with the Chargers. So this is why the hardball thing, I've been talking about hardball for a while now because hardball, everywhere he goes, he wins. And what does he do everywhere that he goes, right? He runs the damn football. They have power football everywhere they go. If you watched the Big Ten Championship game last night, what did they do last night? They ran the football. Their best running back, Blake Corum, Michigan's best uh, best, uh, uh, running back. Blake Corum got hurt. He's out injured for the season. Did it matter last night? Not a single bit, right? They had another running back who came in, Donovan Edwards, did work, right? Put up 150 yards or whatever. They run the ball. When they have offensive line injuries, guess what they still do? They run the damn ball, right? You can't be on Harbaugh's team as an offensive lineman. You can't be on Harbaugh's team if you're not good at run block, right? If you're not good, if you're not a good run blocker, if that's something you struggle with, guess what? You can't be on Harbaugh's team because they're going to run the ball. It doesn't matter who is suited up to play. They're going to run the ball. And that is what the philosophy is. And it rubbed off. It rubbed off on the team. Michigan is a tough, tough team. They got their asses kicked by Georgia last year um, in the college football playoff. They Michigan has a legitimate chance to win the 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 national championship this year. They are tough. They are tough, tough. They are a tough team. And they lost. They had a couple of first round draft picks that they lost on their defense last year too. Like they are tough. He has built that team into a tough team. They are not pussy at all. They will go and hit you in the mouth. They will go and hit you in the mouth and do it again over and over and over and over again. And then shake your hand and say, good job after the game. That's what that team is. They are tough. The Chargers need to be re-imaged into a tough team. This is a soft team. This is soft football. You cannot win playing soft football. Soft football does not work. It doesn't work. Every now and then, you know, you'll see a finesse team win and all of this stuff. And if, if, if this was, and this is why I think a lot of, Coaches, a lot of GMs, a lot of executives just in general are copycats. Nobody has any original type of thoughts, right? Anytime you see a player, you know, uh, a Patrick Mahomes, right? Everybody wants to get a Patrick Mahomes, right? If, if you have success with uh, coaching, right, when, when McVay had success with the Rams, everybody, oh, let's go get the next Sean McVay. Let's go get shot. Nobody has any original thought. And I think that is something in the NFL that doesn't get talked about a lot, right? Harbaugh is a guy, he is an original thought guy. He doesn't give a shit who your quarterback is, right? If he was to coach the Chargers, he wouldn't give a shit how Mahomes play. He's not going to come in and say, I want Justin Herbert, I want you to play like Mahomes. He's not going to say that. He has his own identity. And his identity is building a team that will come out and beat you up for 60 minutes and hit you in the mouth. There's no defense for that. There's no defense for that. You can't game plan against that. If you have a tough team that comes out, whoops your ass for 60 minutes, there's just no defense against it. There's just not a solid defense against it. And you see it. He's done it everywhere he went. College level, NFL level, right back to the college level, right? Kind of in different eras as well, too. This is a guy who has a philosophy. I've been talking about hardball. Been talking about hardball. They need to be re-imaged. This is a soft team. Brandon Staley is a soft coach. He doesn't know how to instill toughness in his players. He just doesn't. He doesn't have the experience. Brandon Staley needs to go back to being a coordinator. He needs to get his 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 uh, philosophy, his coaching philosophy. He needs to change a bunch of things about the way that he does things, right? He needs to change up. We already know the bloom is off the rose with Brandon Staley. I've been talking about Harbaugh for a while, though. And I, like I said, there's going to be other coaches, not just Harbaugh, not just Sean Payton. There's going to be other coaches who are interested in this Charger job once it becomes open, because I do believe it will become open.